So thank you all for joining. Um, great that you could make it uh, and join this presentation about the signature collection and how to get it done, because this is what we're doing at the moment for Meta25 in Germany. We need 5,000 signatures to actually get on the ballot, and we need them until end of February. So we need a concerted effort now um, for people to go out and collect signatures. This will um, presentation will contain everything that you need to know. The first things are already mentioned, um, goal of 5,000 signatures by 29th of February. The most important information in English you find on our homepage uh, on meta25.de slash EU for English, meta25.de slash Europawahl in German. Um, this presentation will be about the preparation, the forms that we actually need to fill, uh, then about the collecting itself, our core content for the European elections that we present to voters, um, and in this in this phase to people that um, hopefully hopefully give us their signature, um, how we can also gain support for Meta during that phase, and then the final confirmation phase for the signatures to be confirmed and then finalized. We start with the preparation. Would be good to have some kind of clipboard uh, or other document that you can put below the forms because it's a sheet. It's a sheet of paper. Each form is a whole sheet of paper, black and white. Important if you print them out um, to print the front and the back. And um, there's a second page that don't, doesn't need to be filled, but needs to be printed for everything to be in order and um, get the confirmation at the end. Um, it's also good to print out some additional form for EU citizens, not in the same number, but uh, to have some available if you meet EU citizens. And um, if you can request larger numbers of forms and Meta25 flyers, by writing at info at meta25.de with your address. For bigger amounts, um, we can send you some. If you have smaller amounts of just collecting it with, uh, at friends and family, which is also already helpful, um, you, we ask you to print yourself. Um, and again, all information and links, also the forms you find at meta25.de slash Europawahl for German and slash EU for English. Now, this is the forms uh, to give you an impression. Um, you see on the left side, the main form for German citizens. And you can see this square in the middle. This is what needs to be filled. The rest below will be filled by the authorities. We don't need to fill them, it's just what is it? What is in the box? The middle sheet here on this presentation is the second page of the form. You don't need to do anything with it, just print it on the back and just so you have seen it. And the right form is the additional form that EU citizens have to fill. EU citizens living in Germany can also um, give us their signature, but they need a second form. Um, they need to find the one, the, to fill the one on the left and additionally the one on the right. And they also need to have data ready as um, yeah, identity document um, number. So not everyone on the streets has that, um, but sometimes you meet people or you can maybe stay in contact with them. Um, and for this, of course, uh, in your local group, if you are with a local group of Meta25, might also be good um, yeah, to have someone that uh, speaks um, German so you can actually know exactly what is what it is on each part of the form. For the German, for German citizens, the form is much easier. You just need first name, last name, birth date, place of living, uh, address, then the date of the day where they sign and the signature, and that's it. That's the rough overview. When you are then on the streets or what are good places in general 
to gather. This is the gathering phase. From our experience, but of course, you can experiment yourself in your city, in your place. Um, Left-wing events, demonstrations at the moment, very recommended in Germany, demonstrations, although they are small um, for the cause of the Palestinians, where we are more known than in other places. Um, other left-wing events, demonstrations, big gatherings of people. Um, left-wing neighborhoods on the street in front of a supermarket or such can also um, work, just you know where you can speak to a lot of people, ask them. And universities are also, of course, definitely recommended um, at noon, where the people go for lunch, for example, is a place at the university where a lot of people pass and uh, you can ask them. It's important to have a place where you can just ask for like one, two hours, just everyone passing. That's at least my uh, goal that I always set myself. Um, and so that you have some people that actually then also stop and sign. Um, there is a rule that we should be aware of. Um, people can only sign one signature per election per party. So if they have already signed for this European election for a different party, if they say, oh, I've already signed for someone else, then they cannot sign for us. And um, who's eligible? EU citizens living in Germany, German citizens, obviously, and if people are over 16 years old, 16 years old is the threshold and the date of the election counts. So 9th of June, 2024, when is when the people have to be 16. Um, so all those people can vote and everyone who can vote at the election can also sign for us. Um, if people fill the form, it's really, really important to check the readability of all data. So it's written in a way that the authorities later can read it. Otherwise, they will not um, stamp it and make it valid. Um, it is really, really important to do that and also to see that, that all fields, fields are filled. It's always good if you collect, that you actually check if you can read everything. If you can read everything, probably also the authorities can read everything. Um, and to also say that to people who fill everything that they are aware of, of that um, from the beginning. And um, data protection, some people have concerns about it. So it's always good to protect their data by putting the filled sheets somewhere where others cannot read them and also to assure them. And this is important for us that we, we don't share the data with anyone. We don't use it for other purposes than the signature. And also the authorities in Germany will not use it and st or store it somewhere other for this particular signature. So sheet of paper, it will be signed once, will be going to the authorities, will be validated, it will go then to the central authorities, we'll talk about that later, and then it will not be stored somewhere. Just some people have this concern um, and that is what we should answer. And of course, that's also how we act. Um, very important to mention that this is not voting. People don't vote for us. They still can decide whom they vote for on 9th of June, 2024, uh, or by letter vote a bit earlier, but um, this is just for to help us to get on the ballot. You need this um, signatures to get on the ballot. Voting will be later on. Um, and uh, that is a good argument for also people that maybe would vote for another leftist party or you know would vote for someone else but it's just for them to help us to get on the ballot and uh, to give the voters more choices um it is very important i think to have a personal approach and um, have some choose a topic from the flyer that you are passionate when you're uh, collecting signatures and so you can also be passionate when you speak to people um, make them excited. Uh, one thing that I always mention in the very beginning is that we are an internationalist party. We're not like the other national parties. We are um, yeah, doing this transnationally. And uh, this is a core thing that sets us apart. And sometimes this is even enough for having someone uh, to sign with us um, just to say that we are leftist internationalist party. Um, sometimes 
but rarely people uh, get want to get into a discussion with you. And if it if it's getting a bit too long, and because you want to also ask other people, I think it's uh, good at some point to just mention this to also polit politely say that you now have to move on and uh, maybe ask other people. Of course, that's up to anyone who's collecting signatures. And um, sometimes there will be difficult topics that people will ask you a very specific question. This is rarely the case, um, but sometimes. And uh, of course, on meta25.e and also on dm25.org, you find our whole program manifesto. And I think uh, it's always good to come from our core values um, that we all share and where you can already answer a lot of questions. And if it sometimes go in, goes into a detail that you don't know how to answer, that's also completely okay to say that you don't know the specific detail, um, that people can look it up on the website, that you can look it up afterwards and be able to ask, answer it next time. Um, just to mention that I think it's no shame to say that uh, we all don't know every line of our <laughs> big program. Um, and then last but not least, learning by doing. I think it's best if you go out, try a place, see if it works, see what kind of questions people ask, and then go home and see, okay, what can you learn? What can you adapt? What can you do better next time? Then um, one important thing, if people talk to us on the street and they seem to be very interested. It would be good to get newsletter subscribers. So on meta25.de, you can actually open it on your phone and on the front page, the first thing is a form for people to fill in their email name, surname and post postcode and to get on our newsletter. Um, and you can have them your phone. And if someone's very interested, it might be a good idea. And it would help us if you can also get the contact. And then at home, they can confirm their email, uh, the email subscription on their email um, when they have filled the form on your phone. Um, donors, of course, if someone wants to give us money, that's also on the website. There is a button on the top right. Um, uh, if you have a flyer, of course, we also have a link to the website and to the donation page. And ideally, you might even grow your local group or our organization by getting a new member. The form is, of course, also on the website. And this is the case for people who are very interested and might want to join us in our effort or support more than just giving the signature. What's the core content? Uh, European elections, we have three topics that we decided by the M25 poll member vote that we want to put to the forefront. Um, on the top of our flyer in Meta25 Germany, we have live and decide in independently, that's our goal. Um, and we have three core things that we focus on next to our vast <laughs> program um, that we want to get uh, people's votes at the European election. That's first of all, um, a basic living income for all people living in the EU. We all know people are struggling from inflation and so on, and we want to achieve this basic living income. We want peaceful and international relations. Um, lasting peace can only be by good relationships between countries, people around the world, and we want them in all directions and be independent in that as a European um, continent in good relationships with uh, other countries, peoples around us. And green transformation for Europe, but not only green transformation, of course, fighting climate change, but letting the ones that actually are responsible for climate change, the big industry, the rich, the super rich, uh, we want to make them pay for the green transition. These are three core things that are also to find on our Meta25 flyer, of course. And I personally use them a lot to give people a bit of a feel of what we stand for. And um, mostly people don't even have more questions and get the gist of what we are about uh, through these three topics. 
And that's why I also would probably in your case, either choose one of them. But of course, as I again said, uh, said before, choose something that you feel that DM25 or Mera25 is about and that you are passionate about. Can also be the issue of Palestine, can um, be something about, you know, post, post-capitalism, transnationalism, whatever you feel uh, is the thing that you want to um, yeah, convince people with. And then finally, um, this is now the very you know, quick overview of everything. Um, we will put this video later on YouTube so more people can see it. And um, you can also, of course, rewatch maybe one or the other parts and afterwards we'll have a bit of time for questions. The final part is if we collected these forms, they need to be confirmed, they are only a valid form that we can hand in in early March if they are confirmed. This needs to be done locally. Unfortunately, in Germany, there is no central entity that does this. And there's also, that's of course, the first thing that you ask before entering the process, is there any way to do this online? Unfortunately not. This is all this paperwork and each signature is one full paper. They need to be handed in locally to the authorities for the authorities to confirm them. There's three ways on how you can do this. First of all, we have local groups and we have some people on our website that offer their address for you to send forms in if you live in a bigger city. Um, on meta25.de slash Europawahl, you will find a list of cities that you can choose from and you will find an address and you can just send the forms there once they are filled. So someone takes, gathers all the forms and takes them then together to the authorities. If you want to, if you live in a place that's not on the list, um, you have two other possibilities or in generally you have them, of course, you need to hand them in to your local authority, which is a bit, can be a bit different in each, <laughs> small unit uh, of bureaucracy in a German um, yeah, community somewhere. And the best thing is to search for Wahlamt, so election office, and then the name of the city um, or village, yeah. or Bürgerbüro, Bürger service, or so citizen service, um, where you will then maybe also find a telephone number that you can call and ask for the, the details. But mostly you will, with Valam, find an address that you can either go to and hand in the signatures and ask them to confirm it and then for them to send it already to me. I'm the person that whose address is on this uh, page now and the, then the local authority will send um, the confirmed um, signatures to me directly, Mera25, CO, Johannes Fehr, Waldo, Allee 116, Aufgang 3, 10318, Berlin. That's also on all the websites, of course, listed that I've already mentioned, so you don't need to, um, yeah, you can see it here on screen or copy it from the website. The other um, possibility that is recommended, actually, rather than going there yourself, send in a letter and uh, put in a little envelope with a signature form and a little note that says, dear sir and madam, please send the forms after you confirm them to the address that I mentioned before. You would have to pay the letter to the authority, but they will then take care of sending it to us here. Um, so you don't have to make a second envelope uh, you know, and pay for it, just one envelope, and they will then forward the confirmed signatures to the central collection. And that's the last point. We must collect these signatures centrally and then sub submit them together to the central election authority in Germany, um, latest by mid-March. So we need to have a bit of buffer. That's why we are speaking about getting things done in February, because sometimes also the authorities take a bit 
to go through the signatures and confirm them. It's really important that we, um, yeah, by mid of March have everything um, then at the central authority and that it is already confirmed and in sufficient numbers. Uh, that's our goal. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we hope that you can get involved. Everything helps from just asking from yourself, signing this, the form and sending it in to going out on the street to collect signatures, to asking around your friends and family uh, and so on, to even do this on a higher level. If anyone um, would like to do that every week, four hours of signature collection would really help us. It's just for the next five weeks. Um, or, you know, until the end of February, uh, info at meta25.de is the address again, where you can ask any questions, get signature forms in higher numbers, get Meta25 flyers when you send in your address. Um, say, hey, I'm really up for this. I want to help you on a constant every day uh, or every week basis. Um, we can exchange phone numbers, we can be in closer contact, put you in chat groups uh, to be yeah, supported uh, while, because you're helping us a lot. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for helping. Everything will also be in the video description. Say again to those people that are watching, either watching the recording later on, would be really much appreciated if you can help us in the next weeks. It's really urgent. It's really a, a big possibility for us. The current political climate is so that we can actually, um, you know, drive some change and we have some unique positions uh, in the German political landscape. And um, yeah, every help counts. Info at meta25.de to reach out. Uh, and thank you very much for watching and supporting us. And yeah, being with us. Ciao.